What is up everyone, Northside here, welcome to my channel and I'm just sitting here and watching the Colorado Warrior hitting the dummy so I spent like 5-6 hours testing this stuff and actually it's about, as the title says, should we use two bells or not uh, they do stack, they work for 30 seconds and they go off there going on the cooldown until the thing is about these bells, well as I will show you now is that these bells, it, it just says increase your companion recharge speed and here increase your companion damage now obviously if you look in the collections it says just the recharge speed we can go to the events and actually check it out really quick because there's a lot of events giving that so even this one so you can see recharge time 120 seconds now some of the veterans didn't even know that the cooldown is I mean if you don't look at the buff bar you can see that white icon because I'm using master bronzewood weapons I uh, actually what I did I made tests 4 minutes long because their timers are wrong this is not 120 seconds neither is this it's more like 8 seconds less all I know is it should be 4 minutes and it's not so I used stopwatch as I'm using it now now regarding regarding cooldown and warrior he's unbeatable but what's interesting with him is actually his attacks so look at him he's standing now he, do, he does this 1 2 3 4 Behind his back, one, two, three, four. Let's speed him up a little bit. So I activated both bells now. One, two, three, four. And he's going into spinning attack. He's gonna do a little bit more damage, almost 250,000. And now he should be doing not, as you can see, he's not putting a sword behind his back. It's just a millisecond or, or half of a second, but it's still, uh, if you time it correctly on an artifact, artifact call or in, in a trial or anywhere else, not just with this one but it varies from companion to companion now he lost his buff he's gonna go into his spinning attack after this so he's quite slow but he's still unbeatable because of his he's just overpowered and that's a fact i mean look at him he's crazy everybody had full, full combat advantage uh two world inspirations six in double rune stones no power selected and my stats as they are so aside him uh, I tried to do four minute test. I try it with without the bell. With with the bell, it's uh, up to a, maybe a million difference less. So the best result is with two bells actually. That's my my conclusion. Now it varies from companion to companion. Now what I all what they also tested was the archon. Now the archon is pretty good. Uh, only he has very low ang DPS. So we're gonna give him some base and he's gonna go into his spinning attack look at him very very nice and his stab attack or whatever you want to call it is very fast look very fast however his ang dps was lower and his damage was over 10.2 million so what we're gonna do after this look at him he's hitting for 200 something thousand but i did this on a trial dummy we're gonna speed him up now so you can see the two icons be uh, on his buff bar and he's doing much more damage and faster attacks as you can see here so let's see how how fast he is he really is here he goes he didn't crit now he's gonna do a series of attack but 30 seconds is going really fast as you can see and he won't be i don't think he will make it he will just start another spinning attack oh he made it okay two two hits but still as you can see between Archon and Cold Iron Warrior is the best, but Archon and this Prospector dude, like, let me show you what he does. Give him some combat advantage. And his attacks are really fast. Look at it. Really, really fast. So 20,000. 20,000. This is without the bell, without anything. 26,000. But, and then he goes into spinning. But he's going to hit. And you can see his attacks are really, really good. Now speeding him up was really a treat because he did almost uh, 40,000 40, something Yang DPS, only 2,000 behind Cold Iron Warrior, uh, which I will show you in the parse in a minute. But uh, let's wait for a few, few more seconds. So he, this is without the buff. So this is like a poor man. I use him since they nerfed the mercenary. So he is pretty good. And I'm going to speed him up now. So both bells at the same time, or and you can see 32,000, 
23,000 and it goes into spinning attack 259, 249, 2 non crits. Now it's all about that. Now he's buffed and he's a little bit faster. Not a lot faster. I don't think he will make it. But let's see. Yes, he made it. And you can see if you time it right, the bells were active and now they're going on a cooldown. So that's actually Black Eyes Prospector. Now, what everybody's asking actually is is it worth it to replace this Awakened Forger box? Now you get guaranteed 3% power on a Mythic. 1800 seconds, 2222 two, 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 uh, combat vet. That's very low percentages, but you can get action point gain 6% and reach your speed by 6%, which is really cool. And it's guaranteed, you know. As far as I'm concerned, using every test I did it was margin, like a million. It was a difference about a million, not more, not less. Last but not least, I know a lot of you want to know about Regis actually. So Regis, you know, he's going in hard and then he goes with his low ass attacks. He spins his daggers, as you can see, do a little, very little damage. But the most damage that he does is from his actual main attack, this. So if you manage to time that, say we activate first the recharge bell and then the damage bell, so he should be doing faster attacks, more damage, even with this Mickey Mouse uh, bleed and whatnot. And let's see his main attack now. Boom. So, and then he goes on another round. So Regis can be really cool if it's time right, but 30 seconds and the bells are gone. Timers are wrong. This is not two minutes. Two minutes is actually not 120 seconds. It's like more like 111 or something, 112. That, that was Regis. He actually made it two times. I'm going to show you the parses now really quick. And we're going to wrap the video up there. And so let's just go and I will show you what I got uh, with these bells. So you make make a decision. So let's go. Okay, here are the parses really quick. So Coal Iron Warrior, this was a, on a trial dummy. Mind you, 44,000.1 DPS, temp, almost 11 million damage is just crazy. Uh, always 44 spinning steel, but his Iron Strike was doing a lot of damage also. And I gave him 8 seconds more, which he would do less damage, maybe 300,000 less. Not, not, not more, but his Ang DPS would be... He was doing 9 million and something. 9.5, 9.4 with one bell or without the bell. It, it, it didn't matter to him too, too much. This Prospector guy is really cool. Look at him. Five, not even 4 minutes. 9.5 million damage, uh, 40,000.5 Ang DPS. And you can see his spinning pick did 48 spins and 80% crit, 71 peak attack, 8 million damage, and which almost almost 9 million damage. And also what I did like was Pseudo Dragon, which is really weird because he did quite a lot of nice Ang DPS and nice damage, as you can see here. Because his Poison Sting, Bite, and Dragon's Venom, they seem slow, but they add up. And they add up uh, with pretty decent hits. And you can see the results here. Other companions, you can contact me on Discord or ask me. I will send you the parses. I have all the parses. So I tried it with one bell, without the bell, with two bells, two bells at a time, second between the bells, doesn't matter. The result was always the same. The, this is actually... Air Archon, so 10.2 million in 3 minutes and 50 seconds, but look at the, his Ang DPS, very very low. I don't know why, but he did a lot of damage. He has 52 Flail Strikes and Tapas Blade adding up. So we're gonna wrap it up with this, so you make a choice, it's all up to you. But you can see that Prospector, Pseudo Dragon, uh, Cold Iron Warrior, they're just top. Cold Iron Warrior is still top of the line, and that's it. There are some good companions, but I don't have them all. So keep that in mind. AoE wise, Regis did pretty pretty good actually. But about that another time. So that's it for now. Shout out to my channel members. And Northside is out.